Star 106, it is the Joe Show. A Fisher Friday. Bob Fisher from the KGLO Newsroom is here. Bob, good morning to you. Good morning. So I saw a story. You deal with the news all the time. And all a story broke this week uh, from the Mason City Police Department where they were doing a bait bike operation. And, yes. And what that is is where they take a bike yep. and they leave it unlocked somewhere and then they watch it. You know, Columbo style. They got their Columbo style. They got their tan, like full length jacket on. They're hiding in an alley, you know, peeking around the corner, seeing if anybody's going to take the bait bike. And at least in, in a cool I, world, that's how it goes down. See, I didn't even think you probably knew who Columbo was. Oh, trust me, I'm I'm a big Peter Falk guy. Okay, yeah, I know these things. Well, somebody took the bait. Somebody yes. Yes. took the bike, and then he tried to get away. You're on a bike. They have cop cars. You're not going to win. That's not going to work that, very well. Not going to win. Guy gets arrested. And well, I think that's good. Let people know, don't be stealing bikes in town. Because there's been a little problem with uh, people just not having their bikes locked up in their garage and you know, making it easy. Yeah, well, part of me says I should not have to worry about stuff on my own property. The other part of me says that's not realistic, Joe. You know, you got to lock your doors. Joe, that's not realistic. It's not. It's not. Now, I, I, it got me thinking, though. When you see stuff laying on the ground in public. Right. Now, a bike is one thing. We should right. know, don't take no, right. a bike. Right. That's obviously right. somebody's stuff. But where do you draw the line for what's okay to pick up off the ground or pick up out in public and then claim as yours versus what's going to end up getting you tackled by the police? Like, yeah. for instance, money. Now, let's say you find a $20 bill on the ground. What do you do with that $20 bill? Do you, do you take it? Do you ask everybody around you if it's theirs and hope nobody lies? Well, what happens if you don't see anybody around? That's my question. Yeah. I would imagine that at that point, if you're walking down the block in a neighborhood and there's a $20 bill on the ground, you just pick it up. Yeah. I mean, who well, writes not? Who writes down the serial numbers of their money? I certainly don't. I don't. I mean, I want, every once in a while when I'm bored, I'll try and alphabetize my money, but that's really, Re- really bored. Really? <laughs> I used to do that. I was bored. Really? This was before the internet, Bob. Wow. Making that fat pizza delivery driver money. Okay. On a slow Sunday. Whatever whatever, whatever, uh, keeps you happy. Now, at one time that I I have picked up something off the ground and kept it, in addition to money, you know, $5 bill, I think $5 bill is kind of fair game. Yeah. You know, unless you're at work. If you find a $5 bill at work, somebody lost it. Somebody lost it. $5 bill. Yeah. Somebody lost it. You're going to find out who had it. Out in public, it's just kind of out there. One thing I have taken was a tape way a back. A cassette tape? A cassette tape. That's how way back this was. It was Cinderella. Okay. Not the Disney musical, no, but the 80s, the, the 80s hair band. Yeah. Cinderella. And it was just laying on the ground. I, I don't know if somebody got up, broke up and their favorite, their couple song was on the tape and they whipped it out the window. Or somebody, quote unquote, accidentally lost it. Accidentally lost it. And I found it. I picked it up. I put it in the tape deck. And you know what? It worked. Well, there you go. That's one thing it, I can it, remember. It brought, it brought you pleasure. It did. It, it picked it up off the ground, and it worked for me. Coming up next here on the Fisher Friday, we're going to talk football. You got your games yeah, ready for I, us? I, I think so. Okay. <laughs> Bob Fisher joining us on a Fisher Friday on the Joe Show on Star 106.